Hi, this is Abdullah from KFPM SSL Lab. Actually, today we are going to show, show you how to use IMU uh, to measure the uh, velocity of a mobile robot. So, in our case, uh, this is omnidirectional robot, so it can move at any direction, x-axis, y-axis. So we uh, we make a path profile, for example, velocity command to the. We will send the velocity command to the robot, and robot will follow this command accordingly. But we don't know. We don't sure that it is following the correctly or not. For example, I, I sent the 5 meter per second the speed, but it is currently following the 4 meter per second. I don't know. That's why we need a feedback system, I mean closed loop feedback system, so that we know the current velocity and we can adjust the velocity. To do that experiment, we need IMU and some sort of things and also some cables, board and Arduino. I'm explaining here, uh, this is my circuit, this is IMU and this is Arduino Mega, currently we are using Arduino Mega and we connect this cable to the USB and uh, this is basically the IMU, IMU means inertial measurement unit and the interface will be IMU and microcontroller there is an interface called I square C the other uh, we have another access, access interface but we are not currently using the, that uh, interface so this is basically the IMU we are going to use this is follow loop and if you see the orientation this is X axis and this is Y axis you have to follow this orientation to measure the velocity okay then uh, if you see the Arduino Mega pin configuration there is a pin SCL and SDA we need these two pins and here bottom of this line you see plus 5 volt and ground okay uh, now there is a pin SCL of IMU I have to connect SCL here and SDA I have to connect the black black cable here SDA then there is a common ground this blue cable and white uh, sorry white is the ground and blue is plus 5 volt from Arduino to V in to the IMU okay this is the connection and we need to develop a program here this is Arduino software for Windows basically it's a compiler or you can say editor so we are going to uh, uh, I need to explain some lines of code we are uh, going to in connect serial uh, this is a serial connection and the baud rate is 11.52 here and the top of the bottom of this line here I have to initialize ac acceleration and okay I need to explain here the IMU is consist of three devices gyroscope magnetometer and accelerometer that is why I need to initialize the accelerometer compass for magnetometer and gyro for gyrometer gyroscope okay then here this is the main loop here I am uh, I'm reading the reading the reading I am reading the accelerometer here and I put this output in a offset Actually, basically, I am reading the offset. There are there are six resistor, three for uh, three for gyro and three for acceler accelerometer. So I am currently reading the accelerometer and put the output here, an offset. 
so and finally i printed out the offset in between this we just uh, adjust some uh, parameter g sensor sign gravity you know we need this okay let's see what happened so this is a this is a serial monitor so i connect a serial cable into usb and to and now we'll see how it behaves like that so basically it runs and it's starting you see this three 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 value zero 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 this first three zero is for gyroscope because in the code if you see i commented out the gyroscope here and i only read the accelerometer so here this first three zero is for gyroscope and it it will always be zero because i am not using gyroscope this three eight zero and two sixty five this three parameter this three value is for accelerometer this is the first one is for x y and g so when a, a object for example this robot will move x axis then x will be changed the accelerometer i mean acceleration along the x axis will be changed you, you know the difference between velocity and speed uh, velocity is a speed with a direction whether it is x x axis or y axis so for example here now it is it is uh, uh, i need to make a correct orientation because you see the x is 8 i need to make it zero how i need to make it this this position now th this is a current position you see the x is zero here so if i move to the x axis then if i move the, to the x axis then x will be changed you see the x is changed and y7 is always remain same x is changing plus and minus okay so in this way we can calculate the velocity from the readings of accelerometer because we know velocity v equal to a t so a is acceleration here so uh, if i calculate uh, velocity in a velocity equal to meter per second so if acceleration i mean the param, param, the value i get from the accelerometer for example it will be 2 and uh, t will be 1 second because i am going to uh, calculate uh calculate the velocity for uh, every on second the interval is every on second for example the robot is started from here and it will go to here so uh, for example 5 second so every on second i am going to read the accelerometer so it will be 2.1 second if readings is 2 to and i i am going to going to read every one second then velocity will be 2 meter per second okay i think you got my point and how we can measure the velocity of a mobile robot using imu okay this is for now okay bye